Hey, how's it going? And a question came up on how you could change your field of view on your viewport camera. And one way you could do that is by essentially swapping out the camera with the pond camera. So what we would do is there's other ways you could do this. This is just the first idea that came into my mind is you could right click and we're just going to create a new blueprint class and a game mode base. And we'll just call this my game mode just so we're starting fresh with a game mode. Right click and I'm gonna to go to blueprint class and instead of getting the pawn here, don't get this one. It doesn't have a movement component. I'm gonna search for the um, the default pawn class here. If I, if I can spell this one here, the default pawn. And I'll just call this my viewport cam. And if we double click into it, you'll see, uh, is this the right one? You know how I know it's not the right one? It doesn't have the ball in there. So forget this one. That's not right. We go here, default, uh, default. Or maybe we have to search for default pawn. Oh, right here. I got the wrong one. It's this one. This is the one you want. So I'll go select and I'll go my default pawn <laughs> can okay and see the ball there instead of that that's how you know you, this is the one you want and it comes with the movement component already in it okay and then what we're going to do is we're simply going to get rid of that sphere because that's technically our pawn right and then what we're going to search for is we're going to add and you can either use a cine camera or the regular camera and i'm just going to use the regular camera because it has the field of view on it so i'm just going to go camera right here this one right here and if we look at it there's a couple settings on here that are important right here is where you could set the field of view see right there it doesn't appear to be animatable but you could change it of course so it's 90 degree you could change orthographic to perspective or i don't know you can get crazy with it if it goes too wide but i don't know uh, too narrow i guess or something like that so let's just do 20 or something like that and see what that looks like Okay, so then that would that should do it. And oh, there's one other setting here. There, search for rotation, and you need to use the pawn control rotation. Otherwise, it'll be weird. And then all we have to do is come up here to Windows, go to Play um, World Settings, and we'll just swap out our game mode. So here, oops, we go here and we'll do my game mode and then open this up and on our pawn, we'll just pick my default pawn camp. And then if I go play, I've got this field of view for this viewport. See how tight in I am? And I got, I have the flying pawn control by the way, I believe. Yeah, so this isn't the walking pawn control, but I've got flying pawn control here. So this would be great for filming something, by the way, if you wanted to film. And then if I wanted to sw switch that, I just come back in here into here and just switch out the field of view, which is one of the higher in higher numbers here. So see how weird it gets if I go to 112. Let's see what I that looks like. See how wide it is now. So that's what you can do and it's kind of cool it, it really is kind of cool so anyway that's all i had for today i hope you found it helpful take care have a great day and i'll talk to you next time